check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, huwag kang matakot! I made learning English easy for you! Please like, comment, and subscribe! At pakishare mo na rin sa iba para marami pang mga huwan na gaya mo ang matuto. Welcome to Quarter 3, Grade 7. We are halfway of our learning journey for English Matatag Curriculum. Alam kong excited na kayong matutunan ang bago niyong lesson. Kaya naman, simulan na natin. Our target learning competencies for this video are... Examine text structures of non-journalistic or expository texts for clarity of meaning and purpose. And, examine linguistic features as tools to achieve organizational efficiency in informational text, specifically transitional devices. And here are our lesson objectives. Analyze the text structure of different types of expository texts by noting purpose and organization of ideas and identify the meaning and use of different transitional devices in expository texts. Moreover, these are the target contents of our discussion. Text structures of expository texts and transition markers. In quarter 2, your final output is that you composed your own short story. If we classify a short story, it is an example of narration or narrative text. In this quarter, we will learn about another method of paragraph development which is exposition. The main difference between narrative and expository methods of paragraph development is that in the narrative, you tell a story about a certain character or characters in a specific time and place. This means you present a sequence of events leading to the climax or the story's most important or often the highest point. On the other hand, expository essays explain or inform the reader about a certain topic or idea. The difference between narrative and expository text lies in their purpose, structure, and style. Here's a breakdown. Purpose Narrative text The primary purpose is to tell a story, entertain, or describe an experience. It often aims to engage readers emotionally and provide a sequence of events or a plot. While in expository text, the main goal is to inform, explain, or teach. These texts present facts, data, and logical arguments to educate or clarify a topic. In terms of structure, narrative texts follow a story arc that is beginning, middle, and end. It includes elements like characters, setting, conflict and resolution. It uses literary devices like dialogue, imagery, and metaphor. While expository texts are organized into sections with clear headings and subheadings, it may use structures such as cause-effect, compare-contrast, problem-solution, or sequence. It includes features like bullet points, charts, and diagrams for clarity. Let's talk about style. In narrative text, it uses descriptive and figurative language to create vivid imagery and evoke emotion. It is often written in first-person or third-person perspectives, while expository text uses objective, clear, and precise language. It avoids emotional appeal and focus on factual accuracy. It is written in a neutral tone often in the third person. Meanwhile, here are examples of narrative text. Novels, short stories, fairy tales, personal anecdotes. While for expository text, we have textbooks, 
news articles, instructional guides, research papers. There are four most commonly used expository methods of paragraph development. We have sequence or process, comparison and contrast, cause and effect, problem and solution. Now, we will differentiate each method in terms of structure, definition, transition words, and corresponding concept maps. Here's a general overview of the expository methods of paragraph development presented in Table 4. Now, let's take a closer look at a more detailed descriptions of each type. The first structure is sequence. It describes the order of events or the steps to follow in doing or making something. These are the transition words we typically use for sequence paragraph. First, second, third, next, finally, then, after, before, not long after, while, meanwhile, at the same time. Meanwhile, these are the concept maps utilized to present ideas and details in a sequence paragraph. Moreover, here is a sample frame or template used to compose a sequence paragraph. And here is a sample sequence paragraph. Here are the steps in baking a cake. First, gather all the necessary ingredients including flour, sugar, eggs, butter, and baking powder. Then, preheat the oven and mix the dry and wet ingredients in separate bowls before combining them. Next, pour the batter into a greased cake pan and place it in the oven to bake for the recommended time. Finally, remove the cake from the oven, let it cool, and decorate it with frosting or toppings of your choice. Next is Problem and Solution. It tells the problem or problems and sometimes why it or they exist and how it can be solved. Transition words used. Problem is, because, since, this led to. One possible solution is, therefore, if, then, thus. And here are the concept maps used to present ideas and details in a, a problem and solution paragraph. Here is a sample frame or template used to compose a problem and solution paragraph. And here is a sample paragraph. Plastic pollution is a problem because it harms wildlife, pollutes oceans, and takes hundreds of years to decompose. One possible solution is to reduce the use of single-use plastics by switching to reusable alternatives like metal straws and cloth bags. Another solution is to increase recycling programs and educate people about proper waste disposal. These are good ways to solve the problem because they decrease the amount of plastic entering the environment and encourage sustainable habits. As a result, ecosystems can recover and the planet becomes cleaner and healthier for future generations. The third one is cause and effect. It explains why or how something happens or exists. Cause is the what made it happen? And effect is what happened. These are the transition words we typically use for cause-effect paragraph. If, then, because of, as a result, so, since, to, effects of, caused by, brought about by. Meanwhile, these are the concept maps utilized to present ideas and details in a cause-and-effect paragraph. Here is a sample frame or template used to compose a cause and effect paragraph. Sample paragraph The reason why the city experienced severe flooding was because of heavy rainfall combined with poor drainage systems. If the drainage systems had been properly maintained, then the water could have been directed away from residential areas. In order to prevent such disasters, the city needs to invest in upgrading its infrastructure. 
Since climate change is increasing the frequency of extreme weather events, addressing these vulnerabilities is becoming even more urgent. Finally, due to the lack of preparation and insufficient planning, many people were displaced from their homes. This explains why investing in sustainable urban planning is critical for the future. Lastly is comparison and contrast. It describes how two or more things are alike and or different. These are the transition words we typically used for comparison and contrast paragraph. Differs from, similar to, in contrast, alike, same as, as well as, on the other hand, either, or, however. Meanwhile, these are the concept maps utilized to present ideas and details in a comparison and contrast paragraph. Moreover, here is a sample frame or template used to compose a comparison and contrast paragraph. Sample paragraph. Both cats and dogs are alike in some ways. Both cats and dogs have similar traits of loyalty and companionship. Both also provide emotional support as well as bring joy to their owner's lives. On the other hand, there are differences as well. One way they differ is that cats are generally more independent, while dogs tend to rely more on human interaction. Another difference is that dogs require regular outdoor walks, whereas cats are often content to stay indoors. For your lesson activity, you have to identify the expository method used to develop each paragraph based on your knowledge of the different expository text structures. Let's read aloud the paragraph and you will be given 5 seconds to think about your answers. Your choices are sequence, problem and solution, cause and effect, and comparison and contrast. Let's begin! Number 1. The Philippines is home to a variety of festivals, both religious and secular or non-religious. These festivals have benefited the country in some ways. Because of these festivals, Filipinos have strengthened their pride in their cultural heritage. These festivals have also created opportunities for building relationships among Filipinos and even with visitors from other parts of the world. Lastly, since these festivals attract visitors, there is an increase in business activities and the economy also grows. Answer is cause and effect. Number 2. There are a few steps to planning for a trip around the Philippines and experiencing Philippine festivals on a budget. First, plan your trip budget. Second, choose the places you want to go. Third, decide how long the trip will be and check if the festival date matches your schedule. Fourth, research flights and deals and look for deals. Finally, start saving up. Answer is sequence. Number 3. The Songkran Festival and the Wata Wata or Basaan Festival are alike in some ways and different in others. Both of these are celebrated in Southeast Asia and are considered religious festivals. However, Songkran is a Buddhist tradition in Thailand, while Basaan is a Catholic celebration in the Philippines in honor of St. John the Baptist. In Songkran and Basaan celebrations, people are allowed to spray water and drench the people joining in the festivity. But this is done for days in Thailand in April, while Basaan is done only on the feast day, June 24th. These celebrations are enjoyed by locals and tourists alike.
answer is comparison and contrast. Number 4. The number of school contenders for the Town Fiesta Street Dance Competition has declined. Schools and the local government units or LGUs have proposed solutions to this problem. One solution was to ensure that students were excused from some school activities or given more time to complete school tasks. Another solution was for the LGU to subsidize the students' costumes and props. Lastly, attractive cash prizes are also given to deserving winners. Answer is problem and solution. So did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na no speed. If you want more of this video tutorial and learn English in a light speed, wag kalimutang mag-subscribe and turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan.